My wife is so mad at me this morning, which is not unusual. I mean, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but today, here's the reason why. Norm Lewis, you might know him for playing Senator uh, Edison Davis on ABC's Scandal. Well, tomorrow, he's performing at the Eastman Theater, but we get to meet him this morning. I already have. Yeah. What a charming gentleman. Yes. And, uh, and Colleen says, you mean he's on and you're going to meet him and I'm not? I said, yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, the way it is. Comes, comes with the job. It's the comes way it is. Welcome to Rochester. Yeah. Thank you very much. You should, in, like, invite her next time. I, yeah, that'd probably be a good yeah, idea. What yeah, do you think? Yeah. I didn't figure that out by now. <laughs> you, you said you've never been here before so never far. Been. When did you get in town? Last night. Yeah? Yeah, around 10.30. <laughs> so oh, it's still yeah. dark. Pretty yeah, much. You exactly. It's dark. You wake up here, it's dark. I that's hope the, my bags are not showing. That's, so. You look great. That was, yeah. That's the coffee you brought in with you uh, this morning. <laughs> Tell us about your musical career, because a lot of people know... The acting career, right? Well, I uh, I started out in in musical theater. I uh, got a job on a cruise ship, believe it or not, mm -hmm. and uh, got encouraged by some friends of mine in the show. And I moved to New York about 28 years ago, wow. and just kind of went to everything. I was so I, I studied business in college, so I just was blind to everything and so green. Really? So I just went to everything and uh, every audition. Wow! And luckily, I got some stuff. You studied business. Yeah, studied business, and yeah. then. Now you're doing acting, singing. Yeah. Why that road and, and not business? Well, I, st I sang in, in, uh, in church growing up. My dad was a deacon. My father, grandfather was a preacher. Uh -huh. So it was kind of like a rite of passage to do something in the church. So I sang, mm -hmm. but no one ever gave me accolades for having a nice voice. At age 17, in my junior year of high school, I ended up uh, deciding to go into choir there. And uh, someone said, oh, you got a nice voice. So it just kind of progressed from there, but I never thought I was good enough. Yeah. See, so many people very early on who become successful in entertainment or, or the arts, they know early on. Right. Mm -hmm. You kind of, I wonder if some of your colleagues are mad at you that you could, <laughs> <laughs> not, that it was a, not that it was an overnight success story, but still, I mean, you came to it later than most. Right, right. And I, again, I just showed up and I studied while I was there in, in New York, you know, some of the best teachers in the world. But uh, it just kept progressing, and actually, my college for theater was getting shows and the experience that I had in each show. Wow. Yeah, well, it yeah. certainly paid off for you. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. As you look back, what do you think? I'm uh, very blessed, very lucky. I had a lot of passion, so that really helped, too. People coming to see you perform here, uh, tell us about that. What are they going to see? What kind of music are they going to hear? Basically, I call it Norm's Greatest Hits. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of the shows that I've been in. I'm going to do pieces from that, and uh, some standards, some R&B. Uh, it's gonna be fun because I, uh, I I love music, all kinds of music, from rap to opera. So yeah, what are you listening to right now? Right now, Hamilton. Yeah, oh, I can't stop. Very, I can't stop cool. listening to that CD. <laughs> yeah. Very popular. Yeah. You also uh, had a great achievement. You were the first Black Phantom in Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. On Broadway. Broadway. Yes, Robert Guillaume was the first African American to play the role in Los okay. Angeles, but I was the first on Broadway. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, that had to be pretty remarkable. For it was you. awesome. Uh, you know, standing on Robert Guillaume's shoulders, he's an amazing talent, yes. and uh, the fact that I got a chance to go and. 20 years later, get a chance to be on Broadway. Uh, it was a dream of mine, so yeah. I'm glad it got fulfilled. Uh, oh, you get to do both worlds. You get to do the stuff where you uh, record things and can go home and watch it on TV, and then you get the live theater. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite of the two? Well, if I had to choose, I mean, I love both mediums, uh, but if I had to choose, it would be live theater. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I love that interaction with the audience and hearing the, the reactions right away. Still get yeah. nervous? I do, actually. I still do because, you know, people have, a, have an expectation of what you can do. But I also want to do my best each time. And uh, so, but I use that. I turn it into energy. Yeah. You can hear that booming voice as he speaks. And so we only know that it magnifies when you're on stage. Kind of so makes me not want to talk. <laughs> Come on. He, I've already asked him to be my co-anchor for the rest of the week, I know, I actually. You asked <laughs> right in front of me, by the way. <laughs> there was not even a hesitation. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk about the performance.